Hey there Dandy fans, uh, today we're going to draw Splatman and Goblin from the bogeys. Um, so we'll start with Splatman. All bogeys tend to be rectangular shaped. If you imagine a rectangle getting overinflated slightly. These will be the ears. About halfway down the, the the body will start, so this top bit here is the head. The splat was always serious. So there's his serious eyes. And he usually has one pupil smaller than the other. There's his mask. There's the top of his cape, a little round shape for his splat signal, a belt, and then because he's running out here, one knee is up, a lot of bogeys don't tend to have legs, they just have feet stuck on the bottom of their bodies, but splat man does, he needs legs to run after bad guys. There's the other foot behind him, a bit of shadow underneath. And then he's got his arms out because he's running. These are his hands. Behind him, this is in front of his cape, that's best. But behind him, he's obviously got the, his cape blowing in the wind behind him. So then, when you ink in, you follow the lines of the good, and you leave alone the lines of the bad. And there you have it, Splatman. A bit more thick and thin lines. Awesome. And then there's his buddy, Gobbin. So again, about halfway, his body will start, maybe even a bit more than halfway. Gobbin has a, has a smaller mask like that, but he's, he's every bit as serious. One big pupil, one little pupil. Some creases, maybe. The 
There's a little G there. Rebelled. Mm, I'm going to do this knee up this time. blowing in the wind. Yes, uh, short sleeves. And there we have it. Got me. Whoops. No. I'll do the cape as well. Blackman and Robin. Gobbin, sorry. <laughs> and then all I need to do is rub out the pencils. But uh, that bit's boring, so we'll leave it there.